Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Windows 11 snipping tool is getting some improvements which have recently rolled out to the Canary and Dev channels um, on Windows 11. And this latest version is 11.2307.44.0 and is an updated version of the screen capture and screen recording utility. Now I think if and when these uh, improvements do roll out, I think they will be quite useful. And the first of two, just to mention uh, regarding the snipping tool, is currently uh, in the stable version. If you want to use the Win, Shift and S keyboard shortcut combination to activate the capture bar, where you get your different options for rectangular mode, freeform mode, window mode, full screen, and you can also just close the snipping tool. This is where the first change is going to come. And with this update to the snipping tool, um, Microsoft are introducing the combined capture bar. So if we head over to a screenshot just to give us an idea, here we can see things are looking a little bit different. So this combined capture bar makes it easier to switch between capturing screenshots and screen recordings without having to open the app. So here you can see you've got your screen capture and your screen recording. So capture, screen recording, and now we've got those different options for rectangle, window, full screen, and free form. So all of that's now being combined into the capture bar, which I actually think uh, is a nice move. And then something else um, to take note of, Microsoft does say that um, you can use the uh, print screen or the win, win and shift and S keyboard shortcut to open the capture bar for snipping, where you will continue to find the familiar snipping modes or try the new Win Shift and R keyboard shortcut to open the capture bar for recording. So over and above having Win Shift and S, you can now use Win Shift and R, and that will now directly take you over and open the capture capture bar for screen recording, which I think is also a nice move. Now, something else to take note of is that based on feedback, um, Microsoft say they are introducing support for optionally recording your PC audio and voiceovers using a microphone. So now there's a microphone uh, that's been added now uh, in this latest version. And the new app settings let you configure the default audio recording settings for new screen recordings. And if you have multiple recording devices, you can select your preferred recording device before you start recording. And there's uh, another little icon next to that, which obviously brings about those changes where you'll be able to configure your default audio recording settings. So I think that's a nice move. Some little uh, minor yet, I think, important changes rolling out to the snipping tool.